Well, my course, uh, Sec 505, uh, I love to teach, and hopefully people love to take the course. It's two courses in one. It's securing Windows and PowerShell. And the reason that this combination is so important is because it's securing Windows, but doing it in an automated way. It's one thing to know that you need to make a change for the sake of security, but the other question is, how do you make that change across 10,000 boxes? And when it comes to Windows automation, that means PowerShell. That's why it's both put together, Windows security and PowerShell. This is a great course to teach, SEC 505, because everyone's eyes light up when they see how easy it is, relatively speaking, how easy it is to use PowerShell to make changes across large numbers of remote machines. And in general, when everybody has like a sense that they're, they're more powerful, right? They can do things that they never thought that they could do before, especially so easily, then that's lots of fun. The course is important, of course, not just for Windows security. I mean, that's why everyone is attending the training courses. They're responsible for securing the environments where they work, and, and the Windows mostly runs on, uh, the world mostly runs on Windows. But the reason they should take it is because of automation. Windows administrators who only know how to double-click icons and graphical interfaces are more likely to be laid off. I mean, I know the global economy has been very good now for several years, but a recession is coming. And when the recession comes, we need people with automation skills. So as our networks get larger, as we move towards cloud computing, as we have more and more mobile devices, we have to have automation. And for automation on Windows, that means PowerShell. The key takeaways from SEC 505 are first, it's imperative to secure your Windows environment. The attack tools out there are so well designed Think of like Mimi Cats, Metasploit, Golden Tickets for Kerberos, things like this. These attacks can be devastating. And very often, people who are new to security, they vastly underestimate how bad bad can get. They think maybe they can just do a bit of incident response and then clean up a compromised network. But that's not true. Sometimes the compromise can be so bad that you could spend years trying to get your adversaries out of your environment. So the first thing is, the network has to be locked down. Like the network administrators must use multi-factor authentication like smart cards or smart tokens, like YubiKeys, for example. And the machines need to be locked down with defense in depth, like host space firewalls and IPsec for so-called zero trust authentication inside the network. These things aren't just optional, they are mandatory. But again, we have to combine that with the other problem in that you can't touch each machine by hand. You can't treat all of your servers and workstations as like handcrafted works of art. We need automation tools. And again, for Windows automation, that means PowerShell.